Lions TV, this is The Den Daily bringing you all the latest gossip, views and transfer news from in and around The Den. Yesterday, Thursday, today's Friday, it's currently 20 past 7 in the morning. But I wanted to get this video done because it's caused a big stir on social media. It does and has caused debate all the way through his time at the club. I'm talking about Conor Mahoney. He is leaving the club. It was revealed yesterday by Richard Cowley. South London Press, London News Online, choose what you like, the digital or the paper version, the outcome's the same, he's concrete with his information. And Conor Mahoney will be leaving the club at the end of the season, after three years at the Den, he will not be offered a new contract by Gary Rowett and the powers that be. I've known this for a while, I've actually made no, 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 no secret about that on the channel, I've said it openly for the last, you know, three or four weeks. But um, yeah, it's a real shame, I'm really, really gutted for him, really. But well, I'm not gutted for him, because if I'm honest, I think it just suits all parties. But I'm very, very, you know, upset, disappointed, expected more. And it hasn't worked out for Connor at Mill. And there is reasons behind that, which we're going to look into in this video. And for that reason, I think it might be a little bit of a longer one. But I think it warrants it, because a club of our structure, you know, have paid a million pounds for a player who's now 25, so, you know, he's only just turned 25, so he's probably come to the club around 21 years old, saved a million pounds, he's on a lot of money at the club, allegedly, he is highly talented, he's played for England at youth levels, he came from Bournemouth via Blackburn, you know, and he was he was on loan previous to coming to the Den, on loan at Birmingham City and got young player of the year, so there is clearly a very good player in there, I'm going to say it, I think he's our best player. Technically, I don't think there's anyone better. I think he is great with both feet. His composure in and around the opposition box is absolutely phenomenal. He can unlock doors. He's not afraid to try to do those things. He's got great delivery. He can score goals. Um, but there is the downside to Mahoney, and, and unfortunately, I will have to say it, is his inability to stay fit at times, which doesn't, you know, can't always be helped. But sometimes, and with Mason Bennett, you just think... Come on, it's a bit too much now. Just, just fucking get on with it. You know, no disrespect, but that's 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 how it looks from an outsider looking in. Also, you know, and I don't, I don't hold this one against him. I've said it before. It's like when people say Tom Bradshaw can't head the ball. Well, Matt Smith can't can't run a pace through a centre of midfield. You know, Bolkowski ain't a striker, and Conor Mahoney cannot defend. He, you know, he, he doesn't really get stuck in. He can't really make a tackle. I've seen him try and go into tackles, and he doesn't really approach it right because he's just not his game. And I honestly, honestly think, one, as I've said, he's our best player technically. Two, I think if he's playing for Fulham or he's playing for Bournemouth, where he hasn't got to dig in, he hasn't got to do a great deal of defending, I think you're seeing a phenomenal talent. And, I, you know, on, on that basis, you know, do I think he'll do anything after the mill? No, I think he'll end up in League One. And I hope I'm wrong. Well, he will, he will end up in League One, I'm sure, for now. But I'm sure, I'm, I'm hoping... You know, he's got a young family now as well. That he rolls his socks up and, and he gets his head round. Maybe he's going to be happier up north, you know. When he joined the club, I did credit him massively with, you know, he went from Blackburn to Bournemouth. He got offered from Preston, didn't he? He could have quite easily gone to Preston. He may well still go to Preston. Up the road from where he's from, Blackburn, perfect opportunity to go home. And he didn't do that. He took the opportunity to come to London and have a go. But it hasn't worked out. I've given the reasons why it maybe hasn't worked out from Connor's side. And I'm talking injuries. I'm talking maybe slightly at times his endeavour to get stuck in could be questioned. That it has been questioned online. Um, now, there's a player in there. We all know there is. It's without a doubt. Why hasn't he succeeded under Gary Rowett? Well, if we wind it all the way back to the summer of 2019, he was actually signed for the club by Neil Harris. Of course, Neil Harris got us promoted. First season back in the champ, we just missed out on the playoffs. Second season, we nearly got relegated. So in that third season, in that summer, if you remember, Neil Harris had a mass clear out and we had 10 new players come in. With loads of players, Bavardson, Matt Smith, Conor Mahoney. They all sort of come in. Uh, Jason McCarthy was another one randomly. And, and we sort of rebuilt the side. Um, with Conor Mahoney being a left winger, Jeb Wallace on the right, 4-4-2, get down the wings and get crosses into the box. And then, of course, Neil Harris leaves the club. Gary Rowett comes in, and whatever I think about Gary Rowett, I do not blame him one bit. You know, if he don't, you don't rate a player, you don't rate a player. Fair's fair, Gaffer. I'm not going to dig you out for not playing Conor Mahoney. For whatever reason, you know, you didn't bring him to the club, fair enough. You didn't like what you saw from Mahoney. I don't think he ever really got a fair run under Rowett. However, the injuries didn't help him. And and, and then and he doesn't play. 
You know, he doesn't play under route hardly ever. I remember one a, a point where he came into the side. It wasn't working out for us at home. We played Wickham, I think it was, or it could have been Luton. And we played four at the back. We played him in a 10 and he absolutely terrorised them. You know, he's a talented player. On his debut, I remember he, he sets up Matt Smith's first goal for the club. We beat, was it Preston? He goes down a wing, crosses one in. Two weeks later, I think he puts a corner in. Could be wrong, could have been Sean Williams for Smith again. And, you know, he, he, he's fully invested. I see him tweeting online, how do you like your eggs and all stuff like that. Um, to, Matt, to Matt Smith and, and the other players and the, and the, and the uh, Mill social media team. So he was fully invested in it. And I feel he's giving it his all to the end as well. See him play for the 23s the other day, he was getting stuck in. So I don't know where his stance lies on it, but I mean, it's definitely best for all, for all concerned that, that he goes and, and, and tries to move on with his career. You know, didn't play under Rowett, as I said, and maybe Rowett didn't like what he saw, but also he didn't really fit into a, a Gary Rowett system. Rowett doesn't play wingers. Does he? he? He sort of plays, well, played all sorts, but we've never really played out and out 4 4, four two. So, didn't really suit Connor to play in that system. He was never going to play as a wing-back. It's not his game. Um, and, of course, we've got Danny Mack and Scott Malone, who was brought to the club by the gaffer. And then this, for me, was the thing that sort of cemented it, that, yeah, look, he's not going to be he's not going to be in next year because we then start bringing other players to the club. Luke Freeman. Uh, we, we start playing Tyler Bury. We bring in um, Ollie Burke. Shay Ojo, all players that are very similar, and if I'm honest, none of them as good as Conor Mahoney. So yeah, I think at that point it was it was quite evident that the writing was on the wall, and Conor Mahoney will be leaving the club at the end of the season. As I said, disappointed, yes, surprised, absolutely not. Where does it leave us? Is it a good thing? Well, it is a good thing, unfortunately. As much as I think he's great, the manager's not going to play him. So he can move on. There is rumours he is alleged to be in the region of earning £14,000 a week. I don't know that. I'm just reading what all you lot are putting online. Um, and I see people fucking finding the wage the wage slips from somewhere. I don't know where everyone gets them from online. But you can, you can find them apparently for all clubs. But um, yeah, I'm not getting involved in that side of things. What I'm saying is this. The money that frees it up for Mahoney will allow us to bring in... Uh, someone else or spread those wages and use them elsewhere of course I'm talking about potentially trying to hold on to Jeb Wallace and I, I've got a funny feeling it might just happen now but anyway that's another video for another day I'll leave it there sad to say Conor Mahoney leaving the club at the end of the season will not be offered a new contract by Gary Rowett and his team all the best Conor so that's your lot for the Den Daily. I hope you have enjoyed it. There's going to be a preview out very shortly for Saturday's home game against Barnsley I'm going to record it right now so keep your eyes peeled please subscribe to Lions TV Come on, you lions.